So we made it onto Lake Street. We've been on this street for two miles. We got low tree branches on the right and low tree branches on the left. Make a right on Green Bay Road. If I were to go straight, I would literally get stuck on that railroad. So let's do a wide right, just like this. And we clear the trailer. As I was at my second drop today, I told the guy I have a drop in Evanston, Illinois. And he's like, oh boy, good luck with that. It's hard to get in there. And I'm like, I got this. I'm a professional car hauler. Nothing's gonna stop me. You do not wanna go left. May not be visible to you guys, but it goes up very steep. And even with trailer lift, I would get stuck on that railroad. 100 likes and I'll do it. And if we look over to the left, we have a scenic underpass of 12 feet. 200 likes and I'll turn left over here. Google Maps is telling me to make a left turn here. I think I'll pass. See that beautiful sign right there? Yep, that's the way we gotta go. They made our road just for us. And with the help of Big G Resolutions, who's been here before, he told me exactly which way to go. Sure does look like a weird, low-looking bridge. Probably is exactly 1311. Sometimes they have them a little taller. That one looks pretty low. Oh boy, what did I sign up for? Oh boy. Ski? Oh, look at that. For some reason, this side's higher. Getting tight in here, getting tight. Better watch it, I'm wide. Yeah, this is definitely a scenic route. Whatever that is, looks pretty cool. Oh boy, this is gonna be a tight one. Better watch it, boy. We made it. One wrong move in these streets and you're done for. Imagine if I had cars on the top of my trailer. That would literally destroy it. Stop on the right side before the street light. As soon as this guy gets out of the way, and this guy's passing me in the fast lane. But yeah, parking right here. This is where I gotta unload. And guess what? Fellow car hauler, how's it going? I'm not the only one out here. As I'm about to get out of my truck and go unload, our fellow car hauler is leaving. Buddy, you got the covered vehicles, all the papers and everything. I'm out here bare, just, just going bare with it, you know? No covers, nothing, no plastic wrap. Lucky him. Oh, by the way, there's the train. And right there, as we see it, 11 foot nine bridge. I think I'm gonna turn right after I'm done unloading here. So in the other video, I told you guys that I only have one GoPro battery because I forgot my battery box in the other truck. So I was charging up the GoPro each time after each delivery because the battery dies pretty quick on there. And then as I pull up to here, it was charging this whole time, but I go to turn it on and it's dead. For some reason, the battery ain't wanting to wake up. So that's not gonna stop me. It's using my phone for this one. And we're about to slide out that ramp, take one car off at this location. And then we got two more drops after this. My question is, what's the point of planting these trees so close to the road? They're little baby trees right now, but when they grow up, they're gonna be blocking this whole lane over here with low tree branches. I mean, place them at least like over there on that side of the shrubs. Why are people so inconsiderate and not realizing that these trees will cause issues later on? Anyways, this is our setup here. Just parked on the right side of the road and about to take off this puppy. Gotta watch for them cars, because this place is pretty busy. I got the car off, 
and I parked it right there, closing the ramps up, because you never know, one of these people might be texting or something, and they'll just drive right up onto my trailer and hit these cars. There we go. Just like this. There you have it. See how much wider a car hauler is than a regular car? I'm up against the curb, and I'm still sticking out like a good foot, foot and a half. So that's the width difference. A car would easily fit into this parking spot right here, but yep, car haulers are big. Funky, funky looking dealership. We got to drive in service doors right there. If we can make it in. Ooh, look at that. It's a corridor. Evanston, Illinois. Dropped off. Shoo Two more drops. Let's get it. And now it's time for me to commute back to my truck. Right over there beauty sitting right over there we look like we're empty oh, we got three more now is the fun part I barely made this left now I gotta turn left here again and then make another left and there's cars that constantly keep coming up and coming up and we have to turn left here but only if those cars are gone so yeah no left will be done here until this road is free the only way i can turn left into this road is if i went on a red light because the, this road got a green light the cars started going and that's the only way i could make a left turn without anyone else pulling up was if i just went on a red light so that's exactly what i did i'm not gonna be waiting for that green light just for cars to pile up again over there and not let me through now left turn a right turn and we just did a box around and we're getting ourselves out of here now this street is just wide enough for my truck to go through if somebody pulls up in front of me they're gonna have to back up right turn out of here and i can't believe we just drove through some little alleys with the car hauler and we're out out on the main road now let's just reverse the way that we came in through all those streets and we'll be back on the main road. Two more drops in Chicago. Yeah, anyways, in a summary of this drop, pretty crazy, you know. It's very, very fun, and I believe if you are a car hauler and you want to test your ability with an 80-foot truck, go to Chicago. You'll learn really quick. You'll get your fear. You'll be able to work on your fear so that you aren't that scared anymore. It'll really help you out. We got fire truck blocking the road up ahead. And here it is. The two famous bridges that I was talking to you guys about. I gotta take it halfway in the lane because we wouldn't fit if it was just in the right lane. Another car wouldn't fit next to me. So this is the 13-8 bridge that I was worried about and telling you guys. I can't go through here with 13-10, obviously. So that's why we reloaded everything and then we got to make a left turn right after that bridge we got a man selling apples up ahead that's how you make money in chicago grab something walk around the traffic and sell it to people i wonder how his business is going also if you guys want to lose some weight the best thing i can recommend is going to chicago with a few loads and you'll lose stress weight so you'll be stressed and you're just gonna lose weight so quick and just like that we park and block the right lane good thing there's a traffic light right there that gives us a break to be able to pull this one off and get turned around in the middle of the road because the car needs to go over there but you know me i didn't make it in time i'm just sitting here facing everyone else going the wrong way my bad we got two coming off at this location, just drove one in. Gonna get this one right here, and then this one, it's going to the last one. So one more drop after this, and I'm getting worried because it is 1.10 or 115, and that place closes at two, so 
I don't know if we're gonna make it there in time and it's the weekend. They're, they don't work weekends. So either way, that car is coming off. I don't care. There we are. I would get annoyed if I was driving and this guy was parked here. But honestly, no, I wouldn't because I'm in the business. That was quick. Now we gotta quickly close this up and make it to our next drop by two where we're gonna be dropping one car. And if I don't make it there by two, they're gonna tell me to come back on Monday and I'm not doing that. We already got our next load lined up and I'm trying to be home by tonight or tomorrow morning. I don't drive weekends. So tomorrow's Saturday, Sunday. So yeah, let's get this done quick. Make a right on Lawrence Avenue. Gotta turn from there. Yeah, right, I'm turning from here. I'm not gonna make that turn. I'm gonna hit that light post and make it fall down. So, once we get a green light, I'm moving over to there and I'm cutting it around. Here we go. I think we need to take it even wider because if a car pulls up right now, we're screwed. Hey, buddy, I'm turning. I'm turning, you're gonna stop and wait for me. You too. Yeah, yeah, get out of my way, boys. Big boy coming through. Yeah, that's how you get it done. Woo! Well, that was magical. We're having a blast out here. Give me some more tight turns. I'm loving it. Ain't no turn tight enough for this 90 foot truck to go through. I'll take up the whole road. I'll move you out of my way, but I'm gonna make that turn. That's the energy you gotta have. Don't be no sissy boy who sits back, oh, how am I gonna make that turn, it's so tight. Boy, you're the king of the road. Fling that truck around all the way over there if you need to. Make that car stop and then you whip it around. Luckily we're empty, so tree branches are not hitting us. Hey, you. 13.6. Oh, you boys are lucky that I just got unloaded. I was at 13.10. I would have opened that bridge up pretty easily. Since we're empty, it ain't an issue. 13.6. We're going this way, boys. Let's get it. Is that all you had? I could do more. I see you there. We saved the best for last, boys. It's about to be fun, because we're going into the heart of Chicago. Woo! We're next to the big buildings. And we're headed into it, going towards the lake. Yeah, boys and girls. This is not fun. This is not fun. I don't know. I feel like I'm not supposed to be here. But we get to do some nice sightseeing today. Get to see some tall buildings. Never came here in my personal car, so I might as well take my semi truck here. But I saw two bridges, 13.8, 13.6. And we're almost there. I called the dealer like four to five times. Nobody's picking up. But I called the security and he picked up. He said that he knows that I'm coming. So. Almost there. I'm excited. It was all worth it, boys. It was all worth it. All that stress, all that pain, all that struggle. Look where we are at. Can we fit under there? We're supposed to go down there. That's where the car is going. But nope, we got to park right over here. That guy took my spot. So I just pulled up a little further and one car is going in there. But yeah. Car hauling is not for the faint of heart. Definitely not easy. All I gotta say is, don't let it get to you. People deliver here somehow, some way. It may be stressful, may be hard, but that's the whole point of life. Nothing's easy, nothing's given to you. You have to go out there and chase it yourself. We made it boys, we're here. Final drop, feels so rewarding. I'm feeling great. When I do it again, possibly, if this video gets 500 likes, 
So, how do I turn around? Up ahead is downtown. I do not want to go further into downtown. I want to turn around. So what am I going to do? I got to do something with these things. The other people told me that I need to clean them up. That's exactly what I'm going to do. So I currently just moved all those cones. And I'm going to do a nice big U-turn. Realized why they had those cones up there because as soon as I moved them, cars started doing U-turns. But let's back up a little bit because that guy was in our way earlier. We're going to swing wide, block traffic, who cares about them, and just turn around. Once I get to that side, I'll park in the right lane, put the cones back exactly how they were. Good thing there's a street light over there, a street light back there that stops traffic from coming. I'm going to wait for that traffic to stop coming as soon as it's like nice and quiet i'm gonna do this u-turn and i think we should have just enough space to clear that turn hopefully let's see where this takes us let's just block this side in, in at first because this side can wait you know i'm blocking it that's the side i gotta get into right after that truck we have clearance let's do this Think smarter and stop working harder. Yeah, boys. See that? Oh, oh, oh. You guys don't know what that is. That means that I'm jackknifing the truck and trailer too hard. So, I'm just gonna stop right here. Right turn lane. We're gonna go clean up those cones. Got all the cones put back. That was quite a bit of work, honestly. Had to unclip a lot of them, clip, clip them back up. But you know, it's what you got to do when you're in Chicago. Who cares, you know? I'm sure you've broken the rule before a few times, so don't you say, oh, you can't do the, they put them there for a reason. Yeah, they did. They put them there so that I can take them apart and, and then put them back together to get myself turned around. Anyways, we are done. We're done, guys. We're finally done. I'll just keep saying it, Chicago is not for the faint of heart. If you got a weak heart, don't come here. Trust me, it's not worth it. And it's not worth it. I spent all day long unloading these cars. Started at 10 a.m. in Chicago already, and it's already 2.30, and we're just done with the last drop. Ain't worth it, don't do it. <laughs> just look at that site, car hauler in Chicago. Oh yeah, beauty. I'm glad we got it over with. Now it's time to hit the road, make some more money. I'm grateful for the opportunity to do this load. I'm not gonna lie. We made an awesome vlog out of it. I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you haven't seen my channel before and you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button because ain't nothing that's gonna stop me. Ain't no load hard enough that's gonna stop me from filming it. We're going at it with a positive energy. We're on a different level. And like I said, if I get 500 likes, we will come here again. Time to go knock out one more load and I'm headed home. And that's gonna be it for this video. But don't you worry, there's more coming. Make sure you're subscribed and I'll catch you in the next one.